All right, I just built myself a uh, dim bulb tester. Uh, that's because I'm building this uh, uh, tube amp. And of course, there's lots of wattage and lots of power going through these things. So uh, you want to make sure you're protecting all your circuits when you uh, first plug it in and test it out. And this is, I'm told, one of the best uh, tools for that job when... Uh, you plug it in, uh, you have a bulb here that's limited, rated to about 50% uh, more capacity than the, uh, the device that you're plugging in. And uh, basically it takes the load if there's any short circuits or anything like that to prevent damage to your uh, unit and to your household uh, uh, system. Tripping breakers and all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, this is... Uh, um, a DIY project that I did uh, from an online um, instruction, which I'll link to the uh, to the vi video down below on uh, YouTube here. So basically, uh, I've got uh, I use it for three. I made it for three prong, which you'll see in the link. You can do a two or a three prong. Doesn't matter. Uh, well, depends on what you're testing. So the, uh, the green ground uh, here actually goes to the ground that you see on the uh, here, and you can link it to the case, but the case is a plastic case, so I've uh, just left it there. That way, if you plug a three-prong device in, uh, it will be grounded, and uh, you're good to go. Um, and then uh, the way the dim bulb uh, tester works is you've got your neutral, which is your white line coming in through your uh, three-prong, which is usually the, uh, the fatty eye right here. And you have to test all of those things. So that would be this pin right here. So of course you do a continuity test. Make sure you've got the right color wires and everything going to the right place. It comes into the side here and then a wire. Uh, I just kept it with white going out into uh, the bottom of that. And then uh, basically after it goes through the load, which is the light bulb, then I turn it black because it's on its, uh, well, it's actually probably going that way because it's uh, white is neutral. So uh, basically the circuit comes in and uh, and off to the races you go. So if, uh, if this is shorted somehow and you can actually test it, I'll build a short shortening uh, plug just to plug it in just to test it, make sure it doesn't trip anything off. And basically, and like it, it's explained in the video, so uh, I'm probably explaining it quite poorly here. And then of course you put in the, the load rating and it's got to be a, a filament bulb. You can't use any other LEDs or anything because they got tricky kind of uh, circuits. And the idea being that uh, again, once again, whatever the bulb is rated at will take up to that load. Or if it exceeds it, then I should imagine it would just burn the bulb out. So there you have it. Uh, my DIY Dim bulb tester. Thanks for watching.